As a child, you're constantly being asked to stand straight. But you know, I still find that I can't always do that. It's a simple thing, Aditi. The truth is that the back actually supports a lot of the organs, all the internal organs in your torso. So it can't be kept straight unless it's actually worked out. Hi, I'm Aditi. And this is Priyanka from Artistic Yoga. So tell me, uh, why is it that your back is weak? What, what happens? Um, the problem with the back is that with most people, they um, used to doing only one particular action through the day, while actually the back allows us four different kinds of movement. So unless you're doing all four of these movements, um, your back's not going to be in that balanced and strong way. Okay, so what can we do then? Okay, Aditi, for the first one you'll need to stand up. Keep your feet slightly apart, interlock your fingers, turn them out and stretch them above your head. See that you pull your whole body upwards. Now take a deep breath, exhale and go down to one side. Not too much, just slightly. Excellent. You're going to hold this posture for about a count of 5 to 10 and come back. We'll do the other side. Inhale as you come up and relax. That was Tiriyaka Tadasan, which is a movement that allows you to strengthen the lateral muscles in your, in your back. The next we'll do is Ardha Shalabhasan. For that you need to lie on your abdomen. Lie on your abdomen. Put your palms under your thighs, facing down, chin on the floor, and gently raise one leg up. This movement helps to strengthen the lower part of your back. Down, Aditi. It's a nice, strong contraction. It engages the gluteus muscles as well, as well as the lower back muscles. We can come back from that. So, who, uh, who can't do this asana? I would uh, recommend that those who have very high blood pressure don't hold these asanas for too long. The third kind of movement is the forward bend. We'll do Janu Shirasana for that. You need to straighten one leg and press the foot of the other into the inner thigh. Stretch your hands above and slowly ease yourself into the asana. This looks like a pretty relaxing and easy pose. I'm sure just anyone can do this, right? Yes, Aditi. Actually, it's very relaxing and um, the only thing you need to keep in mind is that you don't force yourself into the posture, that you are easy with it. And especially those who have problems already with their lower back, you would go very easy with the forward bend. The fourth and final movement is a spinal twist. It's actually a variation of the Ardha Matsyendra Asana. So let's do that, Aditi. Put your feet in front first. Bring your knees up, feet slightly closer to your hip. Take the opposite hand to this knee, and while you take the other hand behind. Now twist, keep your chest out, back straight, and keep your breath easy. Come back from that to the other side. Lock the arm well, so that gives you leverage to help you to twist the back a little more. Keep your breath easy and come back. To do a quick recap, let's remember the four movements that we did. The first one was the side bend, in which you bend to the side on both sides. The second one was the backward bend, to give your back a nice contraction. The third one, to ease the contraction, you do a forward bend. And finally, finish off with the spinal twist to relax your back completely.